Hello, people. As you can see, I have my proper camera in here, and I did some filming with it. But before uh, you see that, you're gonna see a quick video. Uh, I have my live stores late running, and I have a left hand toolbit set up, and I have a nice big chunk of material uh, ready to be cut. And what I want to do is I want to participate in the face of competition. Uh, if you watch uh, Keith Fenner or uh, Abum79 or Tom Lipton, uh, you may know what I'm talking about. So they had a friendly competition of uh, uh, whose lathe was able to take the heaviest uh, cut across the face of a 6 inch uh, diameter piece of steel. So I want to try how my checkmate Toslate uh, fares with um, uh, the two American and the, uh, and the Eastern made. Uh, yum late of Tom Lipton. So, uh, I had a problem here. Uh, this late will only run uh, a feed of, of 0.8 millimeters per revolution uh, uh, in this axis and only 0.4 millimeters in the cross feed. Uh, above 112 rpm uh, you can have all the way until 6.4 millimeters per revolutions of feet when you're running uh, below this speed but above this speed uh, the maximum feed is 0.8 or 0.4 millimeters and I'm pretty disappointed about that so basically that means that I have quite a bit of an advantage by using only 0 .4, 0 0.4 millimeters of feet uh, when the other competitors, competitioners had uh, 0.7 millimeters. So they went almost double as high as I did. But my workpiece is not uh, 6 inch. This is a 7 inch piece. And also I'll be running faster. I'll be running at 500 RPM. So this should be still uh, a comparable result. And I think without further talking, uh, actually, maybe I want to prove you uh, that uh, feed is actually the one that I'm telling you it is. So let's run the indicator to zero. Which is here. And this is in the so I mean the this is the highest part now. So indicator at zero, rotating 180. We get 20 and further 180 is 40. Okay, removing the indicator. Okay, first let's uh, clean the face. Safety glasses on. Whoops. Gear on, and as you can see, it is 500 RPM. So let's start by facing, cleaning the face, I mean.
It really is a fast, fast speed, fast feeding speed. And now let's bring back the indicator and first I think I want to I want to break Keith Fenner's record which was 75 thousandths of an inch uh, just a minute Okay, setting the indicator at zero. Okay, so just a minute. So Keith Fenner's record was 75,000, which is 1.875 millimeters. So let's feed in that much, and we are. At zero still and one millimeter and that's about it so let's see how we do I think it's pretty easy Let me check that the jaws are tight. Just a minute. Okay, jaws are tight. what Keith Fenner could do. Okay, let's re-zero like that. And what Adam Booth did was 125,000. And I think uh, in one of his uh, videos after the phase of competition, common focus, uh, he did much more, but I couldn't find that video at the moment, so I'm just comparing to that result. Just a minute. Okay, 125 thousandths of an inch uh, converted to metric is 3. Point, uh, whoops, is 3.125. So. One millimeter, two millimeter, three, and one, two, five. Okay, this is starting to look like a cut. Let's see how we do. It really did put some strain on the light, but I think I will try the same that uh, Tom Lipton did with his Yam light. Let's let's try that, which is 150 thousands. Okay, 3.75 millimeters, 150 thousands of an inch. So one. Two, three, and seventy-five. Okay. I don't think I want to go any further than this, but let's see how we do. No 
control issues. And the surface finish even is pretty good. But you can see how coarse the feed is, even though it's not as high as the other boys had. And also the insert has quite a large radius on it. Actually, I think I do want to go one more time. I wonder if I should try 4.25 millimeters, which I think is, I think it's 200 thousands. Okay, let's try that. Okay, one final time. One, two, three, four, and twenty-five. Okay. If it doesn't stall now, or vibrate like hell, I think this might be at least as good as all of the other lades that took part in the competition. Actually, I think this might even be the strongest lathe. Let's see how it handles this one. Okay, that's a stall. That's a stall. No go. I think exactly four millimeters would have been okay, but this was too much. So, I'm happy with the results. And I also got some material removed, which I had to remove anyways. Okay, so. Please post some comments about what you think about the results. And I guess I will now go inside and, and start editing this video and also the, the longer video about making the part making the part that's on the on the truck now. And I will have at least one more part about video part about that piece coming. And it's gonna be in a pretty good video quality. It's filmed with my better camera and I got some pretty nice angles uh, with the camera hooked on the, onto the mag magnetic base. Okay, thanks for watching and have a nice night.